sometimes it's hard for people to go to sleep for the sleep study because it's an unfamiliar place and anytime you go to a new place it's unfamiliar. Add to that that we're going to have them with a bunch of monitors on. Wires on their head, wires on their belts around their stomach, wires and EKG, just we've got them wired for sound. It takes a little while to get everything set up and we want to make sure every patient gets the amount of time they need. I was surprised by how many of these there were. They may come in at 7.30, 8.30, 9.30. It usually takes 30 to 45 minutes to get them set up. The sensors on your head. You have two sensors by your eyes so that we can see about uh, rapid eye movement sleep. You will have a sensor on your chin so we can see about muscle tone and whether you're grinding your teeth. There's a snoring um, microphone that we have. There's another sensor to check for airflow. You'll have on two belts. That's to see whether or not you're trying to breathe. That's the one thing about this one that I would say is over that We one. can check breathing in your nose and breathing in your mouth. And then it comes around your head. There's a one lead EKG just to see what your heart rhythm's doing. There's a pulse ox that we put on your finger so we can monitor your oxygen um, saturations. Then we have a lead on each leg to see if we're having any leg movement. The EEG that we're monitoring on your head, um, that's so that we can say when you go to sleep and what stage of sleep you're in. Bring anything with you that will make it more comfortable to you. Don't expect to wear jeans or something with a heavy waistband like that, but anything that you'd normally sleep in would be uh, perfectly fine to wear for your sleep study. We tell them to get up a little bit early the day of their sleep study. That helps them be a little bit more sleepy at the time they go to bed. We want them to be as normal as possible for them. We get a lot of data from our study. And now I need you to open your eyes, moving only your eyes. I, need I look at the EKG to see whether there are any heart rhythm abnormalities that I think is unusual. Then after that, I go and I look at the breathing. Now when I'm checking their EEG to see what stage of sleep, we do that in an epoch that's 30 seconds in length. But when I go back and look at the respirations, I back off a little bit and I look at it five minutes at a time. We get a better indication of breathing when you can kind of condense it and see it a little bit better. If it's an obstructive apnea, we will see airflow stop, but we still see an attempt at effort from the two belts that are that you're wearing around your chest. We look at the oxygen saturations, whether those are going down and whether those events are scored.